Hi, this is Chai from Out Right Now. Today I'm going to show you how to get a super clean chain no matter how dirty your bike is. And it's dirty. By the way, what you think of my shirt? If you like it, check the description for a link. So here's what you need. Some degreaser. I'm using Zep. Some degreaser and a spray bottle. Some soap to wash your bike. A container to keep your chain in. Chain cleaner. A brush. A smaller brush and an even smaller brush and some sort of bin that you can wash everything in. You don't need a bike stand to do this but it does make things a lot easier. So we'll start by spraying off all the loose stuff that's on there. Then we're going to spray the entire drivetrain with the degreaser. Let that soak in a little bit. Next we're going to fill up the chain cleaner with degreaser and use that as our initial cleaner. You'll want to run your chain through here quite a bit. There's a lot of junk on your chain. A lot of people will stop at this point, but that's the reason why they end up with a black chain right after they finish cleaning it. These chain cleaners don't get everything. In fact, I would say they hardly get anything, so don't stop here if you want that clean chain for longer. All right, now hose it down again. As you can see, there's still some gunk in the chain. That's why we don't stop at this point. And look at all that crap in the jockey wheels. If you don't clean that out, there's no point in cleaning your chain. So now remove the chain for easier access to the other parts and for a deeper cleaning on the chain. We're going to put our chain in our container and we're going to fill it with enough degreaser to cover the top. Then shake the shit out of it. Then set it aside and let it soak. Back at our bike we're going to take the rear wheel off so we have better access to the pulleys. Using something like a flathead screwdriver you want to scrape off as much of the junk as you can from both pulley wheels. If you have something plastic, that might be better to use. Then you're going to do the same thing on the front chain ring. Once you're done with that, spray it down with some more degreaser and then brush, 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 brush. And then same thing for your pulleys. Then we're going to hose it down again. If you have the tools to do so, go ahead and remove your cassette from the rim. Otherwise, you can leave it on the rim to clean it, but it's a lot harder to get in the little tiny places in the back. Mine's an XD drive. If yours is not an XD drive, it's going to be even easier. You'll be able to clean a lot of these sprockets individually. I'm going to spray it liberally and let it soak in for a while. Now get comfortable because this is the longest part of the entire process. We are going to scrub the outside of each link and you'll see when you get in there that there's still a lot of gunk in between each link.
Once that's finally done, we're going to take our smallest brush and we're going to clean in between each of the rollers. You'll soon find out how much grime is still left in the chain. If you don't have a small brush like this, you can use something like a shoelace, cut it up and, and run it through there. Yes, Avery Link. Just look at what's in there even after using the chain cleaner. At this point, go ahead and dump the dirty degreaser with your cassette. And then put the chain back in. We're going to rinse, shake, and repeat until our chain is clean again. And go ahead and lay the chain out to dry. Back at our cassette, we're going to do our best to try to get all of the crap out of it. Every little piece you can find, just do your best. Again, a shoelace would work really well on this part. Now give it a really good rinse. So while that's drying, wipe off and clean your driver and then re-grease it. And now we can reinstall our cassette. And now that the rest of your bike is magically clean like mine, we can go ahead and put the chain back on. And now the popular question, which chain lube do you use? On my mountain bikes, I always use a wet lube. I like the Montec. I also use this on my cyclocross bike in the wetter months, but not in the drier months. For the drier months and for my fixed gear bike, I prefer squirt wax-based dry lube. It tends to stay cleaner and quieter for much longer. Plus, any excess will just flake off. I'll cover chain lubes in another video, but for this video, it's just too much. So people, if you want a clean chain for longer, do not over lube your chain. You only need to get it in the rollers. You don't have to get it all over the outside. That's why you end up with a black chain so quickly. And yes, unless I'm in a hurry, I apply the chain lube one roller at a time. This is also more cost effective. And there you have it, a chain that sparkles and blings. If you like this video, let me know with a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so I can change my freaking URL. Peace.